Thanks for spotting me, Hunter. I needed to burn off some steam after that last mission. I'm surprised you have any steam to burn. My symbiote boosts my metabolism. Helps us bounce back quickly. You have the perfect cure for battle fatigue. Or a training session with Blade. Trust me. Even alien metabolism struggles to keep up with Blade. If you rely on the symbiote, why push your physical body to its limits? I often push myself past the point of exhaustion because I have to be able to compete. Most of the heroes in this house were either born with fantastic abilities or were handed them after they were dipped in radioactive alien slime. Eddie, you are literally covered in alien goo that allows you to shatter bricks with your fist. Yeah, sure, that didn't come out right. The symbiote gives me fantastic abilities, but I can't rely on it for everything. I maintain peak conditioning, in case my other gets compromised. Did your parents instill you with this powerful work ethic? Guess you could say that. My mother died in childbirth, and my father blamed me for it. Spent most of my childhood trying to measure up to that monster's unattainable standards. I'm sure that was difficult. I know what it is like to have a parent who is a literal demon. Yeah, well, doesn't make the family photo albums easier to look through. But thanks, Hunter. Now you know why I push myself so hard. I need to be strong enough to protect all the innocent people out there who aren't strong enough to protect themselves. I cannot argue with that, Eddie. Vampire rhymes with fire. Let me show you. Peace. Did you have any friends back before you were, you know, encased in a tomb? A few. Why do you ask? Ah, uh, just thinking about my time with the runaways. You ever miss people from your past? I do. Are you talking about Agatha? Among others. Makes sense. Uh, sorry, stupid question. It is not stupid. 
Are you missing someone? Yeah, a good friend of mine. We kind of had a thing for each other, but it didn't work out. Still miss them, though. What happened to them? We went our separate ways. It felt like the right thing to do at the time, even if it hurt. I understand. Losing a friend to circumstance is never easy. That's putting it lightly. I knew you'd get it. Feeling nostalgic sucks sometimes. It will pass. Can it pass any faster? My brain needs to focus on other stuff today. Thanks, Hunter. All you have to do is take out that nest, Mother. Sounds simple enough, right? Whoever smelt it, dealt it. Show no mercy. Consider it done. Smell your feet. You should never have come here. Lilith has sent you here to die. I hope you are prepared. No mercy for the servants of Lilith. You will pay the greatest price. That. <laughs> Not change their plans. Your fate is sealed. The leader has fallen. We've done it. Excellent work.
Don't ask me how many times Iron Man has asked me to charge his phone. What's up, Big H? Hey, hey, Hunter. Back in New York! I need to visit my favorite bodega cat. Meow! I kind of figured this operation would take a while. There's a lot of moving parts to keep track of. Ah, Hunter. Good to see you. Privet, Hunter. Let's talk, Hunter. Chaos magic is a huge drain on my mental health, you know. Evildoers beware. Symbiote's giant tongue lets us taste more flavors. Uh, not in a creepy way. Hunter, hello. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. It's good to have you around again. Wait here, girl. Friend sense is tingling. What did I get myself into? Having a rough day? I've had my fair share of rough days, but I'm finally reaching my breaking point. So, what is the problem now? Eddie won't listen to me. I can speak with Eddie if you wish. No, no, that's all right. He'd feel like we were ganging up on him. Look, it's Eddie's vampire investigation. It feels like we're on one wild goose chase after another. I'm worried Eddie's about to jump into the deep end. How deep are we talking? Well, the other day I caught him eyeing Nico's neck for bite marks. That is silly, but ultimately harmless. He also inspected Charlie's neck. But Charlie is a dog. Like I said, deep end! Peter, no one is forcing you to help him. I know, it's just... Eddie always pushes me away. I thought if I could help him with something he cared about, maybe he'd... I don't know. I just don't want him to make a fool of himself, or get into trouble if he pokes around in places he shouldn't. What should I do here, Hunter? You have known Eddie longer than I have. I trust you to guide him in the right direction. Oh, 
wow, you really know how to ramp up the pressure, don't you? But you're right. I should figure out what I'm gonna tell him. No matter what you do, keep looking out for your friend. You got it, Hunter. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. There's my Hunter. What have you brought me today? Hey, Hunter. Where did you find this? This is some of my best work. This coil stuff is really incredible. Until next time. Hunter? Hunter? Ileana. What? Oh, sorry. I was off somewhere else, thinking about my brother. You have a brother? Yes, Piotr. He's older. Very protective. He wanted to come here with me, but... No. This part of my life isn't for him. It is nice that he cares so much. You'd think so, but this is more about his guilt than my safety. Piotr blames himself for not protecting me in the past. Now he sees me as some fragile bird. That is not fair to you. You are one of the Midnight Suns, and a formidable one at that. He must see that you can protect yourself. You don't know, Piotr. To say he's immovable would be an understatement. Ugh, anyway. Thank you for talking. It is good to get out of my mind once in a while. Time to take it to the next level. Even a sorcerer supreme can rest on his wall. Good match. All right then. <laughs> 